Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to play a sound when you click a button. For instance, we are going to play a cat meow, a cat me as it says. Simply you click the button and it plays the sound, just like that. Now in order to achieve this, we got to do a few things. First, what we need to do is go to app and res or resources, go down to layout and open the layout you want to be using. I'm going to use the activity main and we're going to create a button. You can use any button you want. And all you gotta do is drag it on here and specify the button. You can make the text say anything you want, or you can use a string, which is preferable. So I'm gonna make my string at string, and then I'll call it play, if I can spell, cat meow. And then the ID, I'm gonna make it exactly the same as a string, and do play cat meow. Then we can go to text and see everything is looking right and here's a preview of what it should look like everything looks good except for cat meow is spelt wrong so now let's go to strings in our values folder under res and we'll see play cat meow the reason it keeps saying play cat me is because i spelt meow wrong there now it says play cat meow on the activity main but to actually play the sound we're going to need two more things we're going to need the java code and we're going to need the sound file itself. You can download any sound file or use any sound file you created basically. So for me, I'm going to use uh, sounds I downloaded. One is a cat meow sound. So in order to play this, you have to add it to your project folder. You can go to res, right click on that, go to new, and go to Android resource directory. Rename that directory as RAW or raw. And if you're lucky, you'll see a folder named raw in here. If you're unlucky like me, you can just go up to here to Android, then to project, and start looking through here. You're gonna need to go to app, and to source, and to main, and to res. Then you'll see the raw folder. Now you're gonna need to open up that raw by right clicking on it, and go to show and explore, or find in finder, as it might say on a Mac, and you'll see here. This is your directory that your project is stored in with all your code and files. So open up that raw folder, See, there's nothing there. Go back to the location of your sound file, which could be in downloads, like it is for me. Right click on it and copy it, or you can just drag it in there, like so. And now when you go back to Android Studio, you should see there's a file in here. Uh, this layout here is very confusing, so I'm gonna switch it back to Android. And now you should be able to see the raw file folder. And so now we need the Java code to actually use the sound and play the sound on button click. So let's go up here. And we need a couple things. First, we need a media player definition. Basically, what we're doing right here is we're setting this media player that we just created to a name of cat sound media player. We're making it final, meaning that it cannot be changed after runtime. And we're setting that equal to a media player, which we're creating from the raw file in the raw directory of cat meow sound. Next, we're gonna need button play cat meow, and we're gonna set this button, which is named this, equal to a button, which is this dot find view by ID, r dot id play cat meow. And to find where play cat meow is, we go to activity main and see that the idea ID is play cat meow. Let's go back up to our Java file and we're gonna need another line. This line is play cat meow dot set on click listener. Basically we're taking this button and we're going to set an on click listener so any so it's always listening to see if the button is clicked then we're going to do this at override statement and we're going to start our method our method is going to be public which means that it can be accessed anywhere you could set it as private if you would like we're going to make it void which means it returns nothing and we're going to call this method on click and we're going to start the sound from the media player that we created so we're going to do cat sound media player dot start we're going to end off the tag here and then end it off here and now when we click play we should be able to see what we saw at the start of the video hopefully it's working for you if not you can ask me questions in the comments or at my email or on my website thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and learned a lot